If you are a fan of Milwaukee Packout, then you are going to love this because I believe this is the best thing to happen to Packout since Packout. If you've been to our channel before, you'll know that we love to rock out with our Packout, and today is no different because we've got four new sets. No, sorry, five new sets of tools that will fit into the draw system. And oh yeah, I apologize to our American friends, but they keep mentioning it, but ours are black. Our pack outs are black, yours are red. Yes, we get the better ones. Now, a couple of years ago, Milwaukee launched a two draw system, later followed by a one plus two draw, and then a three draw, and recent, more recently, a four draw. And you could always buy their foam inserts to be able to put your own tools in and cut out your shapes of your tools to be able to put them in there. But they've taken it one step further with these sets. So yes, they are foam inserts, but these actually already come with the tools with pre-cut slots in the foam ready to go right in. I believe they're making eight of these all together. We've got five. Let's open them up and see what we've got. So first up, we have the half inch socket set. 70 piece socket set. Amazing, look at this. Now, there's only one knife I'm gonna to use to open it. My walking knife. Oh my God. This is like unwrapping stuff at Christmas. Look at that. Oh my God. Yes, yeah, 70 piece socket set. So you've got the half inch ratchet, which has got an extra long handle, which I really, really like. You can buy all these tools separately with Milwaukee anyway. You haven't got to buy them in these sets. So they have just made it easier for everyone just to get the foam pre-cut with the finger holes, better get your hands in there. The sockets are the square ended ones so they don't roll off the bench. Ah, oh, I love it. Shockwave set, Allen key set, nice. So now time for another socket set. This is the 3.8 version. This one comes in a different box. Oh, how'd you get in here? There we go. You are experiencing this with me, by the way. So, oh my goodness, look at that. Look, yes. A 3.8 set, already in the pre-cut foam, ready to go straight into your pack out. What more could you wish for? And look at the price of these sets, and they're not out of the way. They're really not. Beautiful. From six mil all the way up to 19 mil on the long reach. Oh, and on the short reach. Got some spanners in there as well, ratchet spanners. Oh my God, they got ratchet spanners in there as well. Got some, oh, I got a torque bit set and an Allen key set and some extensions. Ha oh, ha, I love it. I'm like a kid at Christmas right now. These boxes are beautiful. You can tell I used to play with the cardboard box as a child rather than the tools. What a beautiful box that is. Now for a 17 piece precision screwdriver set and another beautiful box. Remember how to open them again, there we go. Ah, look at this. Little baby precision screwdrivers. There, oh, they're Torx. They must be screwdrivers up there then. I'm not, James, James, just get the plastic off. Get the plastic off, stop pulling tools out. And then you've got, yeah, precision screwdrivers up there. And then you've got a demolition screwdriver there, you know, for hitting it on the end with a hammer. And then you've got your standard flathead there, Phillips there, and a torque there. Oh, you've got a torque on the end of a screwdriver, T20. Shame it's not a T27. Now time for the screwdriver and plier set. Oh, what was it? 10 pieces of it. More beautiful boxes. And we're in. Look, look, look. Yes, yes. I've wanted Milwaukee pliers for a very long time. I've been had my eye on them for a very long time. And I haven't got around to getting any. Ah, side cutters, long nose, standard, and Plumber's grips, you'd probably like to call them. Ooh, nice, or some sort of adjustable. I don't know, what do people call them in the comments? Plumber's grips. Screwdriver sets, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, yeah, three flatheads, three posies. Beautiful, just wanna say, made in Germany. And the four piece cutting and measuring set, the final one before we put them in to the pack out and see what they look like. Look at this, Oh, we got a bit of, um. We got a bit of empty space there, but we have the hacksaw, a snap-off bladed knife. You call them snap-off bladed knives? Is that what you call those? Where the end cuts off? And a tape measure, a magnetic five-meter tape measure. 
very nice indeed. But we do have a big area here with one pen in, one Inkzool pen. What do we put in that area? Let me know in the comments what I should put in that bit or what it might be designed for. What Milwaukee style shaped thing do we have? Well, I might have got one idea. Right, I've got a couple of things. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Mm, definitely not. Mm, try again. Multimeter, maybe? Maybe. Might fit in. Yeah, that'd go in there. Uh, don't know, go into the drawer though. Mm -hmm. Right, let me know in the comments what should fit in there. I need help. The time has come to put it into my brand new four drawer cabinet. Oh yeah. Right, inserts. Won't be needing them. More inserts. Won't be needing them. These are getting filled up with these new tools. So on the half inch set, it's slightly different foam to the 3 8 set. As you see, the 3 8 set's got three gaps in it, whereas the half inch set has only got two in it. In the four drawer cabinet, you've got three, but in the two drawer cabinet, you've only got two. So this needs to go into a two drawer cabinet and that needs to go into a three drawer cabinet. In one respect, that's made my job a lot easier because I've got five sets and I've got a four drawer unit. So I now know that the three eight socket set needs to go in there. And then I'm going to put in a screwdriver and plier set into the next drawer up. Beautiful. And then I'm going to put in the precision screwdriver set. Very nice indeed. And then in the top drawer, we are going to have the measuring and cutting set in the top. They might have done that for weight purposes, you know. So like a heavier set goes into a two drawer or maybe a three drawer cabinet. And these go into the four drawer cabinet. And there is the half inch set in the bottom of the two drawer cabinet. You've got loads of space above, so you can just sling a load of loose tools on the top if you want. Or if you wanted to put another layer of tools on top of that, there's plenty of room. Oh yes. So now all set up on the base unit. Yes, I have four drawers of tools, well, five drawers of tools, and I've still got somewhere at the top to keep on my PPE, which I've always liked. So that's why I bought this one in the first place. But the bottom box, the bottom box Milwaukee, the bottom box sort it out because that box is generally most awkward one out of the lot when it comes to pack out because you've always got so much stacked up on top of it. Yes, you've got the trolley and you've got the wheels on the back with the handle, which is great because it, you know, it allows you to be able to move it around. But that box is just so awkward to access. I think you should make a one drawer unit with wheels. So that turns into a one drawer, you pull out and you put your big stuff in it, maybe some of your power tools, and then push the drawer back in again without having to take off these two top boxes. Now, let me know in the comments what you would like from Pack Out, what you'd like to see, what you think they're missing. A bit like my idea down here for the drawer, that would be useful for Milwaukee to bring out now in their Pack Out range. Because I kid you not, they're developing something new at least once a month, if not every week. So they are well on it. How much do we love the Pack Out? We love the Pack Out. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. We're Machinery Nation and we bring you videos about tools every single week. So make sure you check out our channel, subscribe, like it, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!